I just wanted to die. I didn't want to live anymore. Crystal McLean dealt with physical, mental, emotional and sexual abuse in a relationship. It started off with um, just pushes and pulls of the hair, yanks of the arm, um, and then it turned into full-on beatings. I left probably over 50 times um, and I just kept returning, kept returning. I couldn't break the cycle. Last year, the rate of intimate partner violence victims in Saskatchewan per 100,000 people was 1,868 in the north, 537 in central Saskatchewan and 396 in the south. That's according to the RCMP. My oldest, he remembers. McLean wants to see changes to the education system to improve these statistics. She says she wants to be part of the solution and is teaching at-risk youth about healthy boundaries and relationships. We need to educate and we need to empower people, um, maybe about warning signs, first, first signs of domestic violence. Um, we need to start young, we need to start with our youth. The province says topics such as healthy relationships, dating standards and coercive control are addressed in health education. But experts say it's not in depth until grade 9 and it's not consistent from school to school. Teacher Christopher Duick says it all depends on the resources available to teachers and divisions. He's taught Health 9 for more than a decade. It allows for many teachers to escape the teaching of it. And I fully believe that in some schools, in the Health 9 classes, these subjects are, are either glossed over or done, done poorly or not with a lot of depth or detail. Whether you're male or female, our children are paying a price that they should never have to pay. Survivor and advocate Brenda Ottenbritt is trying to change that curriculum after her own experience. Where you lose your autonomy, where you lose a bit of yourself every time. So the not being able to pay for feminine products after I had a baby, that, that's, that's dehumanizing. She says modules about intimate relationships should become core subjects. Where we learn healthy and unhealthy proper boundaries and what coercive control looks like and you teach it in an appropriate manner all the way up but it's mandatory so that I know it will be 10-15 years that we see the change. <laughs> McLean says her wounds have healed but memories of the abuse still come in flashbacks. She believes education is one solution that could help save others from trauma. We need to teach them about self-worth and self-love and self-respect. Pratish Dayal, CBC News, Saskatoon.